So what I'm really interested in is what exactly do we mean by soil health or soil quality? Uh, and we can see from this demonstration the differences in the sort of soil quality, soil health. I'm interested in things like the soil physical characteristics, the structure of the soil, but also the biology, how many earthworms, how much fungi and bacteria are in the soil. And then finally, the chemistry of the soil, the nutrients, the soil organic matter and all of these things we can measure. Uh, and then we can also monitor over time so that we can see whether our soils are getting better or they're getting worse. And one of the simplest ways is just to dig a soil pit. You can see just very simply by doing this, the soil breaks up beautifully into different clod sizes. Oh, and there's our friendly worm there as well. And what I can see is that from that we get different structures. So these large clods that we get, we've got lovely, as you can see, it breaks up. We've got lots of structure in there, lots of holes that can be used by the roots to get down into the soil. What we then do is that we grade these different sizes of soil. We've got the very big clods here and you can see between those big clods we've got lots of aeration we've got lots of channels that as I say the rainfall when it comes can get down into that profile so that we can release that water once we receive it on top that will go down into the soil profile. We can also have that aeration we're getting the air in we're also getting the roots into that soil profile and then the next size clods that we have the medium sized clods here Again, you can see between that size clods, you're still getting that, those pores, you're getting those macro pores that will help you to drain the water, overcoming some of these very waterlogged soils, which can be a problem with compaction. And of course, once you get very wet soils, you go on with your heavy machinery, that can cause compaction instantaneously. Getting rid of that compaction is then a nightmare. So prevention is better than cure, trying to get that drainage. So that's our large clods and our medium sized clods. And then finally, the very fine tilth that we want. You can imagine how much that's actually holding onto the water through capillary action. And you can see, even though we've had really very little, oh, there's the sunshine, very little rainfall, that soil is still quite wet. You can just see how it's making my hand dirty. We've got a lot of moisture held within that soil, which will then be available to the roots. So my point is really the structure is everything. You need your big clods so you've got those large pores, your medium sized clods and then these very fine clods. And what we're looking for is the ability to receive the rainfall, release that rainfall through the infiltration but also retain that rainfall so that it's available to the crops. And I'm talking about soil quality, soil quality indicators, many, many different soil properties to tell you whether you've got quality soil or not. Take home messages, there are five characteristics of soil that I think are so important. Organic matter, soil biology, the structure, as I've tried to demonstrate here, the nutrients, and then your water status, the ability to retain and release that water simultaneously by having this range of soil sizes, of soil aggregate sizes. And those five, I would say, are your pivotal five for soil quality, and they're all interrelated. If you lose your biology, you're going to use, lose your structure and your ability to hold water. If you lose your organic matter, your structure goes, your nutrient goes, and so on. So those five, if you're on a desert island, you could only choose five properties, then I think those five are most important.